This is tutorial number 31, and it covers all the views within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up Hinge 3, which is on the DVD. Now, the common views that we see in SOLIDWORKS are the front, back, left, right, top, bottom, isometric, trimetric, and diametric views. And there's also a normal 2 view, which when we click it, we click a planar surface and we get to see the view normal to that planar surface. Now let's click the isometric view. And now, most commonly in SOLIDWORKS, we are experiencing the shaded with edges view. Now, the wireframe view is the object and it only shows the edges, which are represented by solid lines. The hidden lines view is the same except any line which isn't visible is represented by dotted lines. Now the hidden lines removed just shows the outside sketch of the drawing. Now the shaded with edges is what we're most common to. Then there's just shaded and shaded with the shadow or without the shadow. Now let's click shaded with edges view and let's click the section view. Click the isometric. With the section view, we're able to see just a section at a time of how much of the part we want to see. We can see the front plane from the top plane or the right plane. And we're able to move the section view with the arrow. Now we're also able to move the degree of how much we see of it. So let's tilt this back and now it cuts in on an angle. So say we only want to see this much of the part, click OK and now that's all of the part that we see. To get the rest of the part back, click section view again and it's back. Now also we have a bunch of view tools. We have the zoom in and out, zoom to area, zoom to fit, and the previous view. Now the previous view, when you click it, goes back to the last view that we were at, which was the isometric. The zoom to fit brings up the part the best way possible. It gives you the best image, biggest shot of the part. Now the zoom to area is say I want to get into one of those circles. Drag it, make my little window, and that window comes up. Then the zoom in and out, I click, and when I pull towards me, it goes away. When I push forward, it comes in. Now, instead of using this zoom to fit tool, like the zoom in and out tool, on my mouse I have a roller. So when I roll forward, it goes away. When I roll towards me, it comes towards me. And there's also the rotate view. You just click on the object and you can rotate around. And then there is the pan view, which is just moving the object any which way. Now let's go back to the isometric view. And there you go. That's all the views within SOLIDWORKS.